the preparation plan it seems to be something that is there at uh, right on top of people's mind so what does this actually mean and so we have a schedule for preparation i hope i know you can see the screen so this is a wonderful link we'll provide this link there it tells you what you need to do in quant what you need to do in number systems what you do in algebra what are there in geometry what is the plan for di logical reasoning how much you should read how you should plan for reading other verbal bits overall revision mocks and it's in in some detail this has been put together and so it's a wonderful wonderful link that link is available there and so i'm not going to go through that whole page i want to speak about this preparation plan thing and very often uh, people keep ping us these are most frequently asked question when we we dodge this in some form people say give me a day by day schedule give me an hour by hour schedule tell me what i should do when when so make sure you own your preparation you have got to have a sense of this is my preparation plan i am good at quant i know my basic geometry i am going to spend more time on verbal and dilr got to say i read so my verbal ability is in place i am going to spend more time on on quant i've taken cat one so i know all the moving pieces now i'm going to focus more on mocks you've got to take that ownership fine so that is in terms of your strengths and weaknesses you've got to assess that and take your position then yeah? and how how should you plan out your day that changes fine right? if you don't listen to anybody who says prepare from 5 a.m to 7 a.m and then 8 p.m to 9 30 p.m in the middle read from 3 to 3 30 that is their schedule and my preferred schedule if you must know i'm a morning person so if i were given a clean canvas i'll say look i'm going to prepare for for cat from scratch then i'll say monday to friday i'll work from 5:30 to 7 on preparation in the morning that works for me before i start the rest of the before my day catches up with me i want to do this assuming i'm working on a 9 to 7 job during my job i'll grab about an hour of reading i'll come back home at whatever time i come back home have a shower have something to eat plan out what i'm going to do the next day but that's it i cannot read for an hour prepare intensely for an hour and a half and then do something else in the night so i'll switch off watch something and go off to sleep monday to friday my my big chunk the most juicy chunk would be 5:30 to 7 because assuming I'm, i'm working somewhere i'll squeeze in an hour of reading during the job 9 to 7 but if i work for 8 hours 9 hours traveled on top of it to and from office and i've prepared in the morning for an hour and a half and i've read for an hour during the day then then i'm beat i can't come home at 7:30 and then say okay let me now do 2 hours of learning then then my productivity is down my output is down and i start feeling irritated if i get a lot for each hour spent i'm happy but if i spend a lo- lot of hours and things are not moving i get bugged and it, it gets to me it feels like i'm not moving even though i've spent time staring at a screen that neither here nor there you you're not having fun you're not learning and it just slips in between and that's a that that on we boredom is is really bad so that will be my schedule and then on the weekends i'll say look i'll spend saturday to but an hour hour and a half to consolidate where do i stand what topics have i finished what topics have i not finished uh, during the weekdays it'll be it'll be driven by quant and i'll have out of the five sessions maybe one or two for dilr nothing for vrc and dominated by quant one or two for dilr nothing for rc i'm reading for an hour i'm covered for rc my weekends will be dominated by consolidating and mocks i'll definitely look to take one mock and analyze it and either on saturday or sunday mock analysis is 6 hours so i do about 7 and 1/2 8 hours of preparation during the week do 6 hours of mock analysis during the weekend then i then i've had a good week this assuming i'm working i look to amp this up to to 25 20 hours 25 hours 30 hours as we go closer to cat and take some break take some strategically place holiday before the exam but if i'm working then i cannot carve a schedule to prepare for 40 hours but what i will make sure that i'm if i'm saying i'm preparing for 50 15 hours or 17 hours those are intense hours and so make sure you're not fudging you're not conning yourself into believing that you're preparing when you're not make sure that you prepare to your schedule make sure you 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 own your preparation schedule make sure that it is to your strengths and weaknesses and and, and make sure that the, the time of day that works best for you you count for that and i have guys who who their day starts at 9 they have to leave from home to office at 9 then they can get up at 8:30 and go they're just not morning people they'll wake up at 8:30 just spring out of bed rush through the process grab breakfast on the way they're, they're out by 9 and they can throw in a bunch of things there they come back by 7 they they don't feel sleepy till 12:31 
so you get about 5 6 hours after work you spend about half an hour 45 minutes freshening up but 8 to 10 is very productive time you're not feeling sleepy you've done your work for the day you've switched off from work you can you can intensely prepare for a couple of hours and then go if that works for you that works for you early morning works like nothing else for me late night not so much but you could be the other way around so in, in which case define that but i cannot give a standard day by day schedule or an hour by hour schedule and topic wise schedule uh, preparation wise uh, quant is going to dominate preparation but mocks are going to dominate after in the last 3 months so there's a lot more to cover in quant forget vrc if you're getting an hour of reading every day in vrc it takes care of itself there's nothing much to prepare whatever you need to prepare is 5 6 hours one week you set aside you'll know all the question types you're good to go and you have to keep tweaking it but it's not rocket science the elephant in the room is rc it's 24 out of 34 questions sentence rearrangement sentence elimination you can't prepare theoretically anyway you do a bunch of exercises you're good to go and your reading will help any which way and so your your learning is going to be dominated by quant keep that in mind fine but sooner or later you have to go to assessment and uh, where you stand all that and for that you will need to come to mocks and mocks are going to be the mothership fine and so I, i love the second panel here while we were strategizing they were doing something i believe they call work and so a lot of students spent too much time obsessing over random preparation detail which is all moot if you don't throw in the hours and work and so you need to if you're preparing for 15 hours in a week you need to spend half an hour to consolidate but if you're preparing for 15 hours and seven or eight hours are in planning and listening to motivational stuff and Uh, discussing somebody else's preparation plan and thinking about how it can work for you and all of that you're just wasting your time the greatest uh, relaxant that that i know if you're stressed or, or unhappy with your output productivity you're kill tripping yourself the best way to relax and get that thing off your head is actually work none of this cuff of uh, thinking about uh, how your mind can be managed uh, relaxing and meditating and and uh, and switching off and deep breathing and, uh, and and listening to motivational inspirational spiritual stuff all are good but but if you're if you're actually not done your stuff the best way to feel better about yourself is to tam do your stuff and so very often we 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 the elephant in the room is output how much do we demand out of ourselves and deliver on that if that is fine then you don't feel guilty then you don't feel bad and if that is not there then plugging all these other things is like like the famous statement putting band aid on a corpse if you, you turn up and you do what is called as work then you will feel relaxed stress will go away if you prepare for six hours if you're feeling overwhelmed about dilr then instead of finding and uh, thinking about how to improve and figuring out if you take cat 2017 papers there are 8 plus 8 16 sets of dilr set and you tell yourself i'll worry about dilr after going through all 16 suppose it takes a week for you to do that you can do two sets a day not more than that yeah, squeeze in maybe three on a odd good day then you, it takes you six seven days to go through that you finish that at the end if you say okay i've now done 16 sets i have to get a hang of what this is now let me think about why i'm getting stressed about dilr chances are you're not stressed about dilr give work a chance to do its thing right when my f- favorite quotes show up show up show up and after a while the muse shows up too and so relentlessly turn up you be there keep do your thing it will have its own impact don't don't you have to give time a chance to to do its magic you do 100 hours of preparation your stress will disappear so you keep that as a focus area don't worry about the the pieces of the jigsaw that are not falling in place all the pieces of the jigsaw will never fall in place and so it'll never very often we just make up the rules as we go along make an adjustment here do a fudge there do a jugad there and you carry on with life and, and that's magical i'm not saying this in a negative way that's magical great things built are get built by wonderful incrementalism and keep turning up keep doing your things you'll get relaxed you'll get more questions under your belt more puzzles under your belt more passages under your belt will naturally get better and preparation zone and so don't wait for inspiration just simply don't wait for inspiration and so have discipline be relentless be at it 
create micro targets to keep at it if you're thinking about cat preparation and you say look i my goal is 99.5 percentile that's out there you'll know the impact of that next january fine so you've got to say okay this week i'll read for 6 hours prepare for 7 hours before the weekend comes simple targets very measurable intact straightforward and then input metric driven don't say i'll achieve this target and read at this speed or solve at this many questions per minute all that i'm going to prepare for 7 to 8 hours i'm going to read for 6 to 7 hours monday to friday and then obsessively track that metric if you do that you'll automatically move 